Hello everyone, today we are going to be doing the demo video for day three, which is marking the strap casing and attaching the strap. We are going to go through all of the steps in this video, so thank you in advance for watching. This is probably going to be a little bit of a longer one. So in order to start, we are going to mark both of our sheets of fabric for the strap casing. So I'm just going to do one at a time to make it a little bit easier to follow along. So what we're going to do first is we're going to take our ruler and as a reminder, I'm trying to show you um, where it's easier to see. There's a line right here and right here. Those are inch markers. So this first line is one inch. The second line is two inches. So the first thing we're going to do is mark a line across the short side of the bag, two inches down from the top. So we're going to line up the inch markers. So there's one square here and one square here. That's going to be our two inches. And then we're just going to draw a line all the way across, keeping it as straight as possible. I already kind of messed it up a little bit like that. And that's your first line. You want it to be as straight as possible. So now what we're going to do is do the exact same thing but instead of only going two squares down, we're going to go four. So we're going to move it down and then down again. So you can count four lines from the top. So here's one inch down, here's two inches down, here's three inches down, and then four inches down. And then we're going to draw that straight line again, just like this, all the way across. So that's what that is going to look like. And we're going to slide that piece of fabric off to the side and do the exact same thing on the other sheet of fabric. You'll also be able to use your instruction sheet. I provided pictures for you. So that is what your bag should look like right now. So we've just completed step number two and we're moving on to step number three. Step number three is attaching the strap. So I have already taken your straps and cut them into two equally long pieces. So we've got one and we've got two. I will give you the two pieces of your strap at this point. The reason I hang on to them is because only one strap comes with a bag, so we don't necessarily have extras. So if you lose it, then you're out of luck. So that's why I hang on to them. So what we're going to do first is move this ruler out of the way, move the second sheet of fabric out of the way, as well as the other strap. And we're just going to work on one sheet of fabric. We are going to take this strap and attach it to the bag like this. And we're going to go ahead and pin that in place, just like that. So you'll notice, I'm gonna pull this up a little closer, that the edge of the strap lines up with the edge of the bag. That is exactly what you want. The tail of your strap or the extra fabric is going to come off of the left side of the bag. And we're also going to pin that in place just to make it a little bit easier to sew. So make sure it's nice and flat. I'm gonna go ahead and pin that in place. We're pinning the strap pretty much in the middle of those two lines. It doesn't need to be super exact on the tail side, but on this first side, your strap does need to be in the middle of your two lines. Now we're going to do the exact same thing on the other sheet of fabric. So again, we're making sure that we can see our lines taking our strap, lining up the edge of the strap with the right edge of the bag in the middle of the two lines that we just drew. And then again, making sure our tail is on our left side. The tail must be coming off of the left side of both of the pieces of the bag. There we go. 
So that's what it's going to look like. You'll notice that both sheets of fabric look exactly the same. They are supposed to look exactly the same. If they look different, then you've done something wrong. The tail is coming off of the left side of sheet one, as well as the left side of sheet two. If you're following along with the video as we're doing this, you must get your initials from me at this point. Do not sew unless you have your initials from me. You will lose points on the project. I have these checkpoints in here to make sure that you're not going to have to seam rip later. So please, please, please get the initials from me on your instruction sheet before you move on. Okay, so now we are going to attach the strap to our first sheet of fabric. So we're going to go ahead and remove that pin. We're going to make sure that the strap is lined up on the edge of the sheet of fabric. And we're going to sew at a quarter inch seam allowance. You'll notice that I'm going to start sewing a little bit before the strap starts, and that's to make sure that it's super stable. So what we're going to do is we're going to sew a line and backstitch once you get to the strap. And then we're sewing forward again. We're sewing all the way across the strap and a little bit past it, backstitching again. But this time we're backstitching over the entire strap and then forward over the entire strap and backstitching over the entire strap and then forward over the entire strap and backstitching over the entire strap. We're going to do this about three or four times to make sure that the bag is really stable because this is the part that you're going to pull on when you eventually go to close your bag. Then we're going to take it out of the machine. You'll notice that as I'm pulling my strap, it's pulling the bag with it. That means that it's really stable. I'm going to change the camera angle so that way you can see the exact same thing on the other sheet of fabric. So now I'm doing the exact same thing. I'm lining up the edge of the strap with the edge of my bag. I'm going to put the presser foot down slightly before the strap starts. And I'm going to sew forward all the way across the strap. Whoops. And then back stitch all the way across the strap. And then forward. And then back. And then forward. And then back. And then forward. Again, we're doing that about four or five times before we take it out of the machine. And this is what the finished product will look like. This side isn't as pretty as the other side because I was trying to sew it through the camera lens as opposed to looking at the machine itself, but the functionality is still there. Okay, so now you can see that I have sewn the strap to the bag up here. I'm going to trim off my loose threads because that's always a good practice to trim off your loose threads as you go. Okay, now we are moving on to step seven of the bag. I'm going to work on one sheet at a time so that way you can see a little better. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fold over the top side of the bag until it meets that lower line. So see how the top part is meeting that lower line? I'm now going to pin it in place with the strap at the top. So as I folded this over, you can see that the fabric matches that second line down that I drew. You're going to end up folding it at the first line. And you'll see that my strap is pinned at the middle with this pin toward the top. That's to prevent you from sewing your strap and being unable to close your bag. So next I'm going to add more pins throughout the top to ensure that the strap stays out of the way.
Okay, so now that I've pinned everything in place, you should notice that my strap is completely out of the way of where I'm going to be sewing because I'm eventually going to sew a quarter inch seam allowance here in order to create the strap casing. I'm now going to pin the other side. Again, double checking, flipping this up to make sure that the strap is completely out of the way. The reason that I am so intense about making sure that the strap is pinned out of the way is because as we sew across here, eventually you're going to pull on the strap and that's what's going to close the bag because it will scrunch. After you pin this in place, you must get my initials on your instruction sheet. Again, I do that to prevent you from having to seam rip later. So please get your initials after you pin it. Do not get my initials after you sew it because then you will lose points. You must get my initials before you can move on to sewing this. In the next clip, I'm going to show you how to sew this. We are going to start by sewing a quarter inch seam allowance. Now this is going to be different than in the past because we are lining up the edge of this fabric with the edge of the presser foot. Again, I promise I will show you a different angle of this, if at all possible, um, but essentially you want to line up this edge, this folded edge, with the counter side edge of your presser foot. You do not want to sew your strap, so make sure that that is out of the way. Make sure it's pinned out of the way. I can sort of feel it in here, so I'm going to make extra sure to not sew my strap. You always want your excess fabric, so this extra portion of the fabric, you want it to be laying on the counter and not in this side of the machine because then it's going to get all bunched up here and it will be hard to sew. So again, I'm feeling for my strap. I notice that it's completely out of the way. So I'm going to go ahead and sew forward for about an inch. And then I'm going to backstitch. All the way to the end. And then I'm going to sew forward again, completely at a quarter inch seam allowance. This time you are not removing any of the pins because they are not in your way. And the pins are what's keeping the strap out of the way. Again, I'm always feeling for my strap as I'm sewing and I can tell that it is not in the way. Because the last thing we wanna do is sew the strap because if you sew the strap, you won't be able to close your bag and your bag will just be open 100% of the time. And honestly, you would lose points as well. Again, feeling for my strap, making sure that I'm sewing as close to a quarter inch seam allowance as possible. Now that I'm coming toward the end, again, still feeling that my strap is out of the way. I sew all the way to that edge. I backstitch. You don't have to backstitch twice. I just wasn't happy with my first one. And now I'm going to take it out of the machine. I'm going to change the camera angle a bit and show you the next sheet of fabric. Now that I've finished this sheet, I'm going to go ahead and take it out, trim off all my loose threads, and show you the finished product. Okay, so now I have my two separate sheets of fabric. You'll notice that I removed all the pins from the top up here. My tails are both coming out of the left side. So in order to figure out if you've done this correctly, you should be able to take both sheets of your bag and scrunch them. If they do not scrunch, you've done something incorrectly. I'm going to try the other side and then we'll wrap it up for today. So again, I can scrunch both sides. That means that I've done it correctly and that I will be able to use a functional bag. So now that you've completed this, you need to get my initials on your instruction sheet. If you do not get my initials on your instruction sheet, you will lose points. And then in the next video, I will show you day four. Thank you very much for watching and thank you for watching this really long video. I appreciate your time. Have a great day.